Okay, I uh, I cut this chunk out today. That was up here that yeah. high. And uh, I took the heater and all that stuff out of here. Okay. And uh, we're ready now to cut the floor. <coughs> this guy had to have help doing this. Because one guy can't be that stupid. <laughs> okay. This is what I took out. I took the shifter out. Yeah. Oh, wow. This chunk come out. Steering wheel. Okay. Shaft is out. <clears throat> and uh, I took this out. That's the heater? That's the heater. It was all riveted in. I had to drill it all out. Wow. I don't know how this thing was ever supposed to work. You see how plugged it is there? And then if something goes haywire, you're not going to get parts to work. Yeah. So we're gonna put a new heater in or no? Yeah, we're putting a new heater in. Okay. I'm just getting the shifter ready here now. Okay. And you have to re-weld it? Well, it, it was so sloppy I made bushing so it's a tight fit. Eh? Okay. You're not gonna use the gear shifter no, like you normally install? because he's already got something permanent here that would take me a day to take it all off. Okay. He'll gonna wind up with a floor shifter. Okay. You see how these guys butchered everything? Yeah, it looks pretty Bent horrible. Bent it over and whatnot. So I gotta make this work because that's the front. Eh? Yeah. So Dad is having fun, fun, fun. But uh, we're gonna go take a closer look at what Dad's done. So as you can see, the doors are off now. Dad actually has to readjust yeah, these. Both doors off. Dad has to readjust the doors. Uh, probably end up doing what we did uh, on the last Bombardier, where we had to, he has to make some cuts to uh, in the the frame to make it uh, fit snug. And uh, we got the other one over here. Uh, I don't know if he's going to pull it apart or not, uh, like that one we did there on uh, that purple Bombardier we had there over the winter. Where it was full of old newspapers and stuff. You see here how many times they drilled and missed. Yeah, wow. Well, now I, I've got to fix put that. Well done hinges, so. Okay. Both doors. So, but it doesn't fit the first time. Keep drilling, I guess. Keep drilling. Yeah. The, both sides, just to make sure. So, you can see just how rotten this floor is. This is what we have to cut out. Just and the whole thing out. The whole thing out. Otherwise, I don't know what's going to happen here. If it, if this guy got out somewhere, anywhere, you know, got onto a stump or whatever, who knows? It would just be a, just a Mickey Mouse job here. Well, it, <clears throat> it filled full of snow. Yeah. See, there was way too much play in here before. And uh, once I weld the bushing in, then uh, everything will be tight. Okay. So did you notice anything else back here that... Well, he's a carpenter. Yeah. Uh, and he's a tin bender. Okay. And he's a painter. Wow. And not a master of any of them. No. Master of none. So, uh, again, buyer beware. Uh, Dad is very finicky about the work he's doing here, but he isn't a, uh, a miracle worker by any means. So, uh, this was our big concern here for the customer. Again, this is not the customer's fault. The customer bought this machine like this from some guy who... Oh, I, I would... Camouflage. Yeah, he liked the camouflage, is right. Camouflage. So, there's quite a bit of progress here today. We're going to let Dad get back to things here. And that's that. Any uh, tip of the day for the boys? 
I'm out of tips of the day until I get further advanced. Okay.